All right, let's move on to question five. This is the last question of this question paper. So we should expect some sort of more difficult or challenging questions. Let's look at 5.1. Ice is usually used in cool drinks to further cool, further cool them. Ice can be made by freezing water in different shapes. Cubes are the most common shape used to make ice. Okay, so here's a picture of the ice cube. It basically means every side of the cube, right? So every one of these is four and a half centimeters. The question says, use the information above to answer the question that follows. Determine the surface area. So basically saying, if I was to wrap this piece, this, this piece of ice, in wrapping paper. How much wrapping paper would I need? That's effectively what it's saying. You may use the formula surface area equals six times side length squared. So it's really easy. They've given us the formula. So all we need to do is be logical and write it out. So surface area of cube equals six. They gave us that. What is the side length? Four comma five, right? And they asked us to square that. Right, don't forget that square. That square just means four comma five times four comma five. Plug this into your calculator, and there is our answer. One to one comma five. What is our unit? It is centimeters squared, because surface area is still a type of area, right? So you, whenever we see area, it's always to the power of two. Volume or capacity is to the power of three. Let's move on to 5.2. 5.2 says countries surrounding the North Pole have started building ice hotels for travelers to stay overnight. The hotel buildings with furniture and decorations are made of big blocks of ice, each weighing two tons. Okay, whenever we see a, a number or a, a mention of a number in a sort of write-up, we always highlight it or put a circle around it. Blocks of ice are stacked on top of each other to build a room. That actually sounds like a really cool holiday. Ice can also be carved to form different shapes. Let's see what they asked us. It says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. Calculate the total mass in kgs, right? So we know that each piece of ice is two tons. So we're gonna to have to convert tons to kgs. So we know we have a piece of work there of a wall built with 60 big blocks of ice. Okay, so total mass. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna say one block equals two tons, okay? We have to put that into kgs, one block. How many kgs are there in a ton? Well, a thousand kgs equals one ton. So you need to know that, right? That's something that you need to bring in to the exam as part of your knowledge. So two times a thousand is 2000, you should know that. And so you have one block equals 2000 kgs. So now what we need to do is they said, well, please give us the mass of 60 blocks. So we're not done yet. So, and they asked for it in kg. So we're going to say 2000 times 60 like that. Plug it in. That is one, two, zero, zero, zero kgs. There's no squares. There's no anything. This is just saying that 60 squares of ice are 120,000 kgs, right? So a pretty solid piece of ice, okay? Let's now move on to our last question for this video and see what they asked us to do. A block of ice was carved out to make a circular opening. So obviously, when you have these blocks of ice, you have to carve it open, right? So that the room, you can actually enter the room. The carved out ice was melted, resulting in water with a volume of 38,500 centimeters cubed. Calculate the volume of the ice that was carved out, okay? So this is the volume of water, and we want to find the volume of ice. Students often read these questions and like, volume, volume, it's all the same. Depends what we're talking about. So volume of water, we're literally going to plug into this formula they've given us. So the volume of water was 38,500. The volume of ice, we don't know, volume of ice. And then it's times by 0, 0,92. Okay, so that's literally, we've plug and played into this formula that they've given us. So now we need to find the volume of ice. This is where we use a bit of our algebra. So we say, if I want to get the volume of ice, which is multiplied by 0, 0,92 by itself, I need to divide this side by 0, 0,92, but 
But what I do to the one side, I do to the other side, I can cancel those, and that will just give me the volume of ice. On this side, I need to plug that into my calculator, and let's see how much we get. Make sure that you're typing this into your calculator correctly. It's very easy to get these things incorrect. 41847, round it off to two decimal places. Look at the third decimal, it is a six. So we're gonna round up to 83. And then we have to say centimeters cubed because it's volume. Remember I gave you that explanation. Volume, we always put to the power of three unless we're talking in milliliters. But in this case, we're talking in centimeters. And so we have to put that power of three. Okay, that's us done for this video. We have one more video for this paper and then we are done.